how far away it being Grinch. Oh, man, I guess it's been a pretty whirlwind start for your career so far. Can you walk us through this past month for you and what it's been like? I'm just getting this chance, but really impressing the way you have. Yes, it's been great. I'm just riding the wave at the moment. Uh, but obviously, yeah, with my debut at the Chiefs and then a little break after that, just kind of wondering, uh, just training away, really. And then it got, Les gave me another opportunity and, yeah, I took it and it's been great. It's been it's been really good. For a starting debut, becoming only the second Reds player to get a hat trick, I know the result didn't end up going your way, but yeah. what did that experience mean to you and to already be in the history books of this club? Yeah, it's great. It's, it's really good. Um, obviously, we, we didn't get the win that night, but um, I, th I think I just took a lot of confidence out of, out of that night and, and yeah, have taken that in into the next few weeks, really. And it was about two days later that Joe Schmidt was up for media down in Sydney and he was asked about you and he spoke so excitedly about, oh, you know, when some players leave, it then opens up his chances for these young kids, let's get them in. I mean, did that, did that get back to you at all oh, that you're already being spoken about in that regard? Not really, no, I'm not really focusing on that. I get I get where the excitement comes from. you got Derby Lancaster as well. There's a lot, lots of young talent coming through. So, um, But, yeah, I'm not really focused on that at the moment. Really just focused on, on the Reds and the big, uh, big couple of weeks we have ahead of us. Let's talk about the game style that you bring, because like every try you scored seems to have been scored in different ways to an extent. There's been a lot of flair to it. I mean, does that come from your upbringing in playing two different codes, or is that? Yeah, I don't know. It's mostly, mostly just instincts, really. My dad, he coached me a lot during my younger years, and and he was a good footy player himself. So I guess uh, that would have helped me a lot. Um, and then yeah, just instincts, really, and and good players inside of me setting me up. So that's helped me a lot. And how's the body sort of feeling after the first few weeks before getting a bit of a rest yeah. coming off the bench? <laughs> Got to get used to it a little bit, but um, yeah, it's been good. Uh, obviously off the bench last last week against Drua, a little bit of a freshen up, which is good. Um, but yeah, it's feeling all right, getting used to it. There's a bit of a history in Union of players coming out of Union schools being drawn over to league. You've, I guess, mm -hmm. gone the other way where you had the options that both went for Union. What got you over the line with Union over the other code? Yeah, so I had a little bit of a decision to make with um, whether I wanted to go into league or Union. And I don't know, I feel like, um, yeah, I've made the decision to go into Union, follow kind of what my dad did. He played at Brothers, so I went into Brothers. And yeah, I haven't really, I haven't looked back after that. Um, and yeah, don't regret anything. Was, so I'm loving it. Was there any, I guess, offers from clubs or anything in the league so uh, in the league no not really no um but then i was always in contact with dale and paul in the reds academy um so i always had that in the back of my mind and yeah it was, it was a great great option in the end and i, I know you say you're not thinking about wallabies or anything so soon but to hear your name in that context and with this whole new era of wallabies rugby coming up under joe like it's been hard to not dare to dream that with a whole new era. It is opportunity. Obviously, it's pretty cool. And uh, as a young kid, I would always watch the Wallabies, so it is a, a big dream of mine. But uh, yet again, really, really not focusing on that at the moment. That we've got a bigger job ahead of us with three weeks, and then leading into into finals. So just focusing on that at the moment. I guess in your starting a chill in the last few weeks, you've got the chance to play at Suncorp, Christchurch, yeah. PG. Like you've blown through a bit different experiences out of each. Absolutely. Well. And and I learned firsthand um, playing in, in New Zealand that the fields are just completely different. I was wearing my plastic studs and I was slipping all over the place and we had to get some, some metal studs on um, as soon as possible. But yeah, it's been, it's been great just traveling all, the, all around the world just playing rugby and I'm loving it. Like in Fiji last week, it was, it was unreal. And obviously with, with our Tonga trip coming up, it's been an absolute pleasure to, to be in that. Um, but yeah, it's been amazing so far. And earning those starting chances, I mean, the forced a wallaby like Suliasi to the bench as well. I mean, are you now constantly feeling you have to be on your toes when you've got someone like that in the same position? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, obviously, with Suli, um, oh, sorry, he would be disappointed himself, and, and we're just trying to get around him at this point. Um, but yeah, in training, training with Suli every day, it's like, well, it's world class. So obviously, yeah, got to be on my toes, and, and yeah. I'm always behind him, pretty much. And the move for you to go back to the bench, is that more with Les's, I guess, management of your younger guys? Is uh, I, I guess so. You'd have to ask Les that, really. I just, uh, uh, Les, Les makes the decisions and, and we arrive at the, 